Welcome back to Anderton's TV. Thank In fact, you. welcome if this is the first time you've ever watched a video on our channel. Wow. This is Pete. Hello. I'm Lee. Nice to meet you. Um, and I'm guessing you're here because you've seen the title that this is going to tell you about some of the guitar starter packs that we're selling at the moment. Um, Pete's going to do some playing on all the different uh, guitars in this uh, that we've got in the room here. We're going to talk about the amps that you get. We're going to talk about pedals and different things you might want to buy as a guitar player or for a first guitar player. Um, anyway, but let's get started. Okay, so the guitars you're seeing around me range in price from anything from about £100 up to about £300. Um, you can buy them all separately if you want to, but what we're going to talk about in this video mainly are the starter bundles that we do. So these are our three guitar amplifiers. Mm -hmm. Every guitar is available in a bundle with any one of these three uh, amps and all the links for those will be in the description below. There's a 10 watt Diddy one, a 15 watt sort of mid-sized one, one and a 35 watt one um, with the biggest speaker and the, the sort of the biggest sound. Um, they're all fine to learn to play on, mm -hmm. but the bigger you go, the kind of the nicer it sounds. And we're going to demonstrate that for you now by taking you through uh, how each one sounds. So this is the 10 watt. It's got a volume control, a treble and a bass control and a headphone socket, mm. plus a little button here to engage some overdrive. It is the smallest one of the three. It's the smallest sounding one, but it sounds like this. with the distortion button engaged. Thank you, Maestro. Yes, um, you're well, okay. very welcome. Next one up is called a 15 watt. Now this has some more knobs on it and most importantly, it has a reverb yes, effect. Yes, we like reverb. Which you'll hear. So again, uh, we've got a button to engage for a distortion sound and now we've got treble, middle and bass as well as our reverb control and um, our headphone socket again. Here we go. If you're wondering as well, these are all mains powered. They're not battery powered or anything like that. So um, let's go. Let's get some tones, Mr. Pete. It makes a big difference with the reverb. And the biggest speaker. Bigger speaker. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, with distortioni. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so the biggest one is the 35 watt one. Again, we've got uh, an overdrive sound, a clean sound, three band EQ and reverb built in with our headphone socket. Uh, these are all home use amplifiers, mm -hmm. so really, you know, don't get the impression that, you know, that's what you need if you're going to go gigging and that's for home use. They're all home use amplifiers, just that's the nicest sounding one and that's the most affordable one. Yeah. And here is what it sounds like. Nice. Let's have some overdrive. So as I said before, these are the three amp choices you've got that you can mix and match with any of these guitars. If you decide to go for the smallest amp, the packs are going to come with um, a guitar cable. You need that to plug in, right? A clip-on guitar tuner, so that'll clip onto the headstock of your guitar, help you keep it in tune, uh, and a set of plectrums. Yeah. Bosh. Uh, if you opt to go for either of the bigger two amplifiers, you get that same uh, set of accessories, we just talked about this, plus a guitar stand and a padded gig bag. Wow. Okay, so that's all yeah. thrown in in the price. Amazing. So that's basically it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we'll use the biggest one for the rest of this demo, because it's our favorite one. Mm. But now we're gonna go through the guitars one at a time just to show you what you can get. 
So our most affordable bundles include either an ST1, which is this one here, or a T1, which is this one here, obviously based on very yeah, classic, classic designs, designs, available in a range of colors. Now we've heard Pete playing the ST1 uh, throughout the, the amp sections. Mm -hmm. I think we'll just dive straight onto the T1. But these bundles with the small amplifier here start from 129 pounds, <laughs> which is nuts, right? Yeah, it is. This is the ST2 in a very fetching purple, very uh, fetching. available in a number of other different colors as well. It's exactly the same as the ST1, which we started with, um, except that it's got a humbucking pickup at the bridge. This kind of pickup is a little bit louder, a little bit fatter sounding than a single coil pickup. Mm -hmm. Good for using with an overdriven sound. Yep. These are 10 pounds more. So the bundles on these will start from 139. Those first three guitars we showed you are real kind of all-rounders, um, no real, you know, widely used in all genres of music. Mm -hmm. This is the HM1, and it's been designed to be a little bit more contemporary and probably leaning towards a more modern sort of rock and metal kind of style. Yeah. Again, lots of different colors, and the bundles that include an HM1 start from 169. Wow. Right, so quickly uh, to explain the specs on this, you have got uh, two pickups here, two humbucking pickups, so there's a bit fatter in the tone. You've got a three-way selector switch, so you've got either first pickup, both pickups together, or the back pickup here. You've got a volume and a tone, and then you've got more frets here. You'll see you've got two dots here, two dots here, which means you've got 24 frets. That's lots of frets. Uh, it's nice satin finished neck. You also got a 2-point tremolo here, so it's a bit more smooth feeling uh, for when you're doing those steaming lead solos. <laughs> <laughs> two are the deluxe versions of the ST1 and the T1. Mm. Uh, what you can see on these are slightly nicer necks, kind of caramelized necks, slightly nicer body carves on the back, a little bit more contemporary, perhaps mm -hmm. a little bit easier to play when your hands get up here. And you can see we've gone with the humbucking pickup at the bridge on the ST Deluxe and what's called a P90 pickup at the neck on the T1 Deluxe. Anyway, Pete's going to show you how these sound.
Let's see the T1 Deluxe, and as I'm passing this over, I shall uh, tell you that these packs start from £179, uh, both the same regardless of which guitar you choose. Okay, so now we're moving on to the guitars that are down that side of the room. Mm -hmm. You've probably worked out that everything on this side is kind of inspired by the classic designs of Fender. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are definitely the slightly more affordable ones on this side. We're now going down this side where all the designs are inspired by the classic designs of Gibson. Mm. It is definitely a more bling guitar. Bling bling. Uh, more, a more complicated guitar to build and consequently a more expensive guitar as well. Yeah. So we're going to start off with the L1. Mm -hmm. uh, again, different colours perhaps on screen while Pete's playing. Wonderful. Yes, and the that. L1 bundles, the starter pack bundles, start from £269. <sighs> So these are really cool and don't forget if you have an amp already you can buy one of these guitars on its own. This is the J90. Oh, delicious. Beautiful guitar yeah. based on a, a design from the sort of 1950s. It's a completely hollow guitar, uh, meaning it's a lot lighter than maybe it looks. Yeah. Just got a single P90 pickup here, so not the most versatile guitar, mm. but uber cool nonetheless. It is. Uh, on this one, you've got three different colors on screen now, and the bundles start from 289. Sneaky. Sneaky, yeah. But it does much more uh, than this, uh, doesn't it? What Sorry. was cool there is all we did was turn the reverb right up on the amplifier to give that sort right of big up. atmospheric yeah. effect. And then because the guitar's kind of hollow, it's got that slightly more jangly yeah, sort lovely. of sound to it's it. It's a blues um, kind of guitar. Okay, well done for staying to the end. This mm -hmm. is our last pair of guitars here. This model is called the G35, and you can get either a flame effect kind of one or a slightly plainer looking one. Mm -hmm. um, bundles with the amplifiers start from 279 on that and are available in different colors as well, or 299 in this one. It's yeah. basically the same sounding guitar, same kind of feeling guitar. Slightly different. Yes, very slightly different tailpiece on mm -hmm. this one. I guess what's this almost like a more vintagey looking thing. Yep. Uh, but Mr. Pete, yes, would Mr. you like Lee. to give us some tones? Absolutely. Thank you. 
mean, he played red one, but there we go. Pete. Thank you very much. Um, this is gorgeous. So there you go. That hopefully gives you um, a, a fantastic selection of guitars that you might want to either get for yourself or buy for somebody that wants to learn to play the guitar. Uh, I think it goes without saying. Again, the quality of this stuff is just top, yes. top notch. Keep talking about that. Um, when we were young. <laughs> I, could, I should say at this point as well, Anderton's goes out of its way to try and avoid like the really dreadful stuff there you know you can absolutely go to a supermarket and buy something that looks like a guitar uh amazon perhaps <sighs> amazon you can get all sorts on can't yes, you like you good can. stuff bad stuff whatever but i'm just saying it the 100 percent. pete and i and the whole team at anderton's go through tons and tons of different guitars and brands uh, yeah. to try and find the stuff that's just that little bit better because learning to play guitar is not the easiest thing in the world it requires a bit of practice and a bit of dedication yeah, absolutely and if the instrument you're trying to learn on isn't great exactly. then uh you got you know little or no chance really yeah. so these are all good um i did want to can you just hold up that you can thing yeah yeah of course can this is a fun thing to do uh, if you're a guitar player or buying for a guitar player. Uh, these are called guitar pedals. You might have heard of these sorts of things. Um, this is the kind of thing you, you plug your guitar into this, then this goes into the amplifier. And as you stomp on them, you'll get different effects, different kinds of distortions and um, choruses and echoes and all kinds of stuff like that. So perhaps in the final jam out, Pete and I'll have a little play. You might see Pete treading on these. Uh, the brands that are great value for money, um, if you go check them out on the Anderson's website, are either a brand called Landlord, lots of pedals in that range that start from about £29, mm -hmm. uh, and Tone City, uh, and again, lots of pedals in that range mm -hmm. from about £39. Pounds. Mm -hmm. So we are done, Mr. Pete. We are. Uh, I hope you found that informative. Um, again, I said, if you're new to this channel, there's thousands of videos on here that will take you on a guitar journey from the first thing that yeah. you might buy to, who knows, the thousandth thing you might buy. Uh, yeah. You'll see lots of uh, presenters, Danish Pete, myself are on a lot of the videos, but there's loads of other guys as well doing cool stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Um, and we shall see you hopefully in another video soon. Goodbye. <laughs>